Welcome back to the channel. Let's explore together. Today we're checking out Daniel Thrasher when you finally write a hit song, but your cat is dead. I don't know how those two things are related. We recently reacted to when your cat writes a hit song. So maybe this is like a spiritual successor to that video. I don't really know, but the title definitely caught my attention. Uh, if you guys want to let me know what other stuff I should react to, there's links in the description on how to make me do it or just leave your comments below. I don't read all the comments, but I do read all the comments left by members. It's a dollar a month to be a member of the channel. It helps out a lot. So consider becoming a member and I will definitely read your comments and take your video suggestions into consideration. That's the plug. Let's see what the heck this is. Hey champ, I have some news that I think you need to hear. Hang on. I'm seeking inspiration from silence. No, really, this is like actually pretty important. You don't think creating art is important? It your, your cat's dead. It is, but... There we go. I was waiting for that. There it is. Do you feel that, Daniel? Feel what? Can you feel the magic? Dude, no. nothing could ruin my mood today. Well, something could. Nothing could possibly get in my way. Because I'm a guy with a smile on my face. Look, then and if you wonder why I'm in a so happy place. Because I'm the happiest, happiest, happiest guy in the world. <laughs> Alright, let's let's get into the thumbnail because I'm 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 ready for this. Listen, maybe he'll be even happier now that his cat's dead. Cats are just cats are just mean. I I await all the cat lovers to leave angry comments that I, I, I won't read. Unless you're a channel member, then I guess I'll read your angry cat comments. Alright. Close enough. Let's see where this nonsense goes. Well, something has happened. Oh yeah. Also, this, this is a banger Alexa notification uh, romp. I'm just a happy, happy, snappy, tappy, wappy, nice flappy, quiet. clappy, happy guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> None of that made sense. It doesn't have to. Not when you're as happy as I am, Daniel. Exactly. Okay, but I really need to talk to you about something. You're gonna ask me how I got to be so happy, I bet. Not exactly. Yeah, that's what you want. Dude, could you just let me finish what I'm trying to say? Rest in peace, Mimsy. Uh, there's sunshine in the air. There's rainbows in the sky. There's flowers. Now, to all the actual cat owners who have actually had their cats, pets perish, um... My condolences, but you can have comfort in the fact that uh, your, your cat didn't love you. You loved it, but it doesn't miss you, so you don't have to feel bad because it didn't love you. Feel better? Good. Glad we had this talk. In my heart, and there's a key. How did you dispose of it? And that's cat? my favorite part. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He has a lot of love for his cat who does not have love back to him, by the way. More on that later. And there's a kitty, and that's my favorite part. Every morning I wake up and pet my kitty. Oh, no. On days when I'm not feeling great, her fur is so pretty. She's a fluffy kitty, and she makes me so happy. Now he's trying to make the cat, he's trying to give the cat CPR. Oh, oh boy. I said more on the, the cats not loving you later. It is now later, efficiently later. Uh, part one. We have domesticated dogs since before recorded human history. Uh, they helped us uh, hunt. We domesticated wolves since before recorded human history. So we're talking, uh, you know, millions of years ago, like the, 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 the early human, pre-humanoid stages. The, uh, it, it, there is some evidence to indicate that even uh, Neanderthals I started domesticating wolves uh, for hunting and things. So there's a long-standing relationship between man and dog. And there is a ton of neurological evidence that dogs and humans have mutually loving relationships in the uh, way that any beings can. 
And that humans respond to dogs similarly the, the way that they respond to babies and dogs inversely to humans because of millions of years of evolution. Part two on cats coming up after this. And when she does a kitty sleep and takes a little kitty oh nap, I'm the happiest, no, no. happiest, no, no. happiest no, no. guy. This song slaps though. <laughs> the world. Oh, yeah, the cat's definitely dead, bro, says the cat vet. <laughs> I'm just a happy, peppy, snappy, dappy, wappy, flappy, clappy. I like how he starts singing a lot. Happy guy. And it is a good song. All right, part two. Cats. Cats, we're not sure how long we've domesticated, but the earliest traces that we could find evidence for is around the time of the ancient Egyptians. So we're talking 7,000 or so years. There doesn't seem to be a lot of evidence that cats were domesticated before then because cats only seem to become domesticated as a, uh, hey, why not? sort of a thing. The Egyptians really liked cats. Um, you know, they, they were the first ones to make cats into viral memes and paint them onto walls and sometimes worship them. So the first time that you saw cats really getting domesticated that we know of was then, and there's no real evidence to indicate anywhere that they were really domesticated before that. So you've got millions of years of evolution and human attachment to dogs and a few thousand years to cats. What this has done is when you look at the neurology of cats and humans, there are uh, some bits of evidence of emotional attachment. Humans can still have a decent emotional attachment to cats. Humans can have emotional attachments to pretty much anything. Humans can have emotional attachments to inanimate objects. Human brains are wired like that. Cats, on the other hand, uh, have a very distinct type of emotional attachment to humans, and it's a very much survival mechanism. Cats don't exactly have the same emotional bonds to humans that dogs do. They see the human more as a uh, important caretaker and provider rather than an actual partner and mate. This is why it's a lot less likely that a cat will, you know, risk life and limb for their uh, owner, whereas a dog will. Now, that's not to say that cats never do. They do sometimes, but it's usually linked more to their own thought that this will help my future chances of survival if I uh, make sure that this human stays alive. Uh, so yeah, cats kind of love you, but they got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, they, they're, they're just millions of years behind in it. That's why cats kind of act like they're, they're better than you because they, they kind of actually think that. They, they, they see you as a tool, a means for their survival rather than an equal or a better. Dogs see you as an equal or a better. Because we've, we've used dogs a lot longer. Cats just got some catching up to do. So uh, all of this, all of this to say that you cat people out there, um, it, it's, not a, it's not a matter of preference. You're wrong. You like to love things that don't love you back. You probably have some unresolved traumas, something like that. Um, and, and that's fine. You know, cats will help you resolve that trauma. Maybe. I don't know. The dogs are better. And you can prove it with, ne with neurology. Uh -huh. Hoodie guy, before you keep singing, I need you to listen to what I have to tell you. Oh, you want to sing with me? Is that it? No, I don't. That's not even remotely close to where this is going. What are you happy about, Daniel? Let's not talk about that right now, man. Cool, I'll go again. <gasps> My roommate makes me happy. Uh-oh. He's a good old boy. There's nothing in the world he could say to me that would rob me of my joy. I think he's got one thing he could say. This is getting worse. I feel so safe around him. <laughs> he wants what's best for me. The only thing that makes me happier this is, is my precious little kitty. Oh boy. Y'all have seen the title, right? Yep. I'm not gonna tell him. No, I don't think. You just gotta let him find and out. And now a sketch for today's. I was really hoping for that climatic conclusion. I wanted that moment, but I think he's just gonna let him find the dead cat. It's kind of messed up. I wonder how much uh, slander is gonna be in the comments for uh, me laying down the fact bombs about cats. People are gonna try to do their own research, try to contradict what I said. You're gonna fail. If you look at actual scholarly articles, you're going to find what I said was true. And you're going to be sad about it. Why not just embrace the truth? If, if, uh, 
if you can't live your life happily under the rules of reality, then you need to adjust your life. If you can't love your cat just as much knowing that it doesn't love you as much as a dog would, you don't need to fix the fact that your cat doesn't love you as much as a dog would. You need to fix the fact that you're not okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. Something to think about. It's probably not going to read your comments, though. Except for the channel members that get mad at me. I'll read your comments. Sponsor, Raycon. No! I've written a po we don't do Raycon. Raycons make cats look like angelic saints. Get your money, Daniel Thrasher, but we will not support Raycon around here. They're terrible. You could get what Raycons are made from on uh, AliExpress or whatever it's called for about $7 a pair. They just won't have Raycal's uh, logos on it, but it's, it's the same thing. And that's what Raycon sells you for $70. The more you know. Until we explore again, I'll see you next time.